So I received a question. How am I watering all the gardens and how am I doing all that? Um, as you can see, pipe, this blue pipe takes sends water. This is a pump house. These are these are the things that I found structures which were here, which were not part of mine. So these are the things that I found here, and we are also using the same structures and the same equipment. The part that we have agreed on in our partnership is that I would use this pump for the pumping of the water, and then we would share the um, from the crops in a certain percentage difference between him me and him. But as I wanted to show you, this is the water pump room this is the water pipes that go up they lead all the way to the garden at the top so from in here we have got i want to show you what is inside so that you see that it is not really anything complicated as you can hear another pump going off in the in the further distance so we come through in here here we come round, and here it is this is a a, gener um, a generator plus the water pump so the generator is pushing the pump and pushing it from the river so our water we're getting it from the river so this is the pump the generator plus a pump this is just a simple um, system that is in place so what happens is that so that you do not need to prime it all the time you put a non-return valve in between the river and the pump so that once you start it it automatically starts pumping so that is what is going on here so once it starts pumping we just um, it just starts pumping automatically and you don't need to prime it so this is where we are getting this is the source of water that we have and right now we are in August we, they flooded it for us giving us more water and being able to to use this amount of water so the water as you can see has actually risen from the normal from where it would normally be and it has actually gone a bit higher than the last time I than the first time I actually came here to start this project so this is where we are getting our water from and right now the water is quite high so we are happy with the water levels that is always a challenge when you do farming is making sure that you have enough resources for us we are saying to ourselves one hectare of land we are using close to about let's say close to about 11 to 12 liters of diesel that we are using to pump and to water that area so we have different ways of pouring we've got either sprinklers or we do flood irrigation or those are mainly the two that we are doing here a bit of flood irrigation or sprinklers so these are things that i will obviously carry forward to where i am going and with time i will show you how we are able to achieve what we planned to achieve so let me just show you what we say by sprinkler irrigation these are the that we are using this kind of sprinklers and they have their own we have our own but it's roughly the same this is their own but we also have the our own set of sprinklers like this and then we have a set of spray guns which are also here which you can see in the distance this is a spray gun which we are using which we have so this is the process that we are currently using for the running of the day-to-day of just that hectare that I showed you. To me, the pump is the one that we may need to rethink. I believe that it is consuming too much fuel. But for now, before I have my own, I do have um, the the pump. The what is called the I do have the I do have the generator, but I do not have the pump. So that is something that I need to work on and that is something that will be done in the near future. So thank you very much for liking, thank you for subscribing and all the comments. Thank you and have a good day.